right, folks, Benny Basket here at Gifford State Park, or sorry, Gifford Pincho State Park. Uh, I am playing the Boulder Woods course. Uh, the park itself is located in uh, Wellsville, Pennsylvania, um, which is a little bit north of York, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is an 18 hole golf course. Uh, there are two golf courses here at uh, Pinchot State Park. Uh, Boulder is the easier of the two. Um, and I will be bringing you the other course later on, which is Quaker. Um, but here at the park itself, there is a lot you can do. Um, they have a lake, which you can do fishing at. You can rent canoes. Uh, you can bring your own boats here. They have camping, they have playgrounds. Uh, during the summertime, you can actually go swimming in the lake. They have hiking trails and God, who knows what else. They have a lot to offer here at this park. It is a beautiful park. Uh, they have two really good courses here. I played these before, but I just wanna bring them to you now. Um, and give you the perspective, you know, basically again, as I'm doing with these courses, perspective of a beginner. So let's get into it and uh, I will let you know how it is at the end of this, this round.
All right, folks, just finished up my 18 holes at uh, Boulder Woods at Pinchot State Park. Um, whew, this, this course always frustrates me. Um, I always think I have a good shot, but tree. These trees seem to jump out at me. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what I did to them. But uh, this course is all wooded. Um, it is a predominantly, what it seems to me, left-handed or forehand uh, lines. Uh, it's very difficult if you play right-handed, backhand, and can only throw hyzers. Um, if you don't know how to manipulate your disc to do anything other than those, or just that, um, you're gonna have a tough time. Uh, I mean, I still recommend coming out. I will always recommend you coming out and trying every course that I do a video on. But uh, in overall, I don't know how much fun you'll have if you can just throw 50 feet hyzers uh, and, and that's it. It's gonna take a while. You're gonna have a high score, but at least you're out getting some exercise, I guess. Um, but overall, I really like the course. It's mainly flat. Uh, there's a tiny bit of elevation here and there. Um, the holes are tricky. They're tucked behind trees and, and um, it, it does make it challenging. Uh, I love the tee pads here. They are by far my favorite tee pads. Um, I've played two other courses that have those tee pads and I love them. So all courses should have these tee pads that are here. They're super grippy. They're, they're great. Um, no matter what's on them, you're not gonna slip, you're not gonna fall, it doesn't matter what shoes you're wearing, uh, they'll grip you really good. So I, I love, love them. Uh, let's see, hazards, there are some areas where you can throw and lose your disc, um, but it's not really that tough to lose a disc. If you have a nice colorful disc, uh, you'll be fine. Um, one thing I did want to mention that I didn't in the beginning uh, when I was telling you about what the park had, uh, if you come down the main road and keep going straight towards the lake, there's a building in front of you. That's where the restrooms are. Uh, so they have them here and they have restrooms, I think at hole 15 also. Uh, so if you're playing through and need to use a restroom, there's one there. Uh, one thing I also want to say is on each tee pad, not all of them, but a good number of them, they have uh, brooms. So you can sweep off the pads themselves, the concrete pads. Uh, I never used them, I never needed to. I guess maybe some days when there's grass cutting, I, I don't know, but they're there if you need them, which is always nice. Uh, signage is great here. I don't see any real issue about uh, the signs and if they're accurate or not, uh, they seem to be accurate. There are also arrow signs on the bottom of almost every basket. It's really not hard to get lost here. It, it's super easy. Uh, there are a few holes that you have to go from the basket and kind of walk back up uh, the, the fairway a little bit to get to the next one. But other than that, it's pretty decent. Uh, overall, I mean, I like this course. Um, I've played with a few people here and we've all had a good time uh, it, it's it is beginner friendly in a sense but again if you're only throwing hyzers and that's all you got then uh, it, it, you're gonna have a, a high score and it's gonna take you a while um, again I, I, I don't say stay away I say try it out see how you feel then get some practice Come back another time, play it again, and do better. Uh, that, that, that's the best advice I could give. So overall, good course. Um, plenty of parking. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. Oh, I think that's it. If I remember anything, I'll, I'll let you know. All right. Uh, all right, so don't forget to like this video. Uh, give me a comment if you got something to say. Hopefully it's nice. Uh, definitely subscribe, tell all your friends about my channel. Um, if you want me to go check out another course, please tell me. And uh, I hope to be seeing you all soon. All right, Benny Baskets signing out.